YouTubers, this is Noah Venus here, and this is my first YouTube video. Hope you enjoy it. Now today, I'm going to show you my collection of mint and box slash brand new Thomas the Tank Engine trains that I've got off of eBay. And so let's begin. First model we got here is Thomas the Tank Engine. Pretty obvious. Now this Thomas is in my favorite style packaging and I'm collecting the set for the 70 models that brand me in the box that came in this style packaging with a nice big Thomas the Tank Engine Friends old logo, the name of the character, and a nice artwork from Owen Bell of the character that you get in the box. Which is in like for example, we got Thomas. Well, that's pretty obvious. And this is his Ertl model. Now, I love these Ertl Thomas trains. I always wanted this since I was two years old, but never got one until I was 12. Yeah, that long ago. Now, I have a lot of Ertl toys, which I'll show you maybe next time in the video, next video. But here's Thomas, and what I really like, not only I love the front box, the box is a nice, simple size, and the back. Now, the back shows you the description here, now you may not be able to read it clearly because it's crappy camera on my iPhone, but it is what it is. But anyway, here's also a historical note, the collector card number, the name of the character, the nice Thomas the Tank Engine Friends logo, and the other characters that you could get at the time. This is from 1993, so it shows 31 models. The later mo years for that models came in the style packaging like for example toad he came out in 1994 or 19 well actually 1995 in this packaging in the uk but 1994 very late 1994 in the shine temp station packaging I'm not kidding i'll show you that for proof next time when i get that packaging of toad brand new in the box anyway back to this this is from 1993 if you can't see it but yeah this is a Nice mint in box, Ertl Thomas train. I was thinking of opening him, but you know what? I already have one unboxed, so I'm going to keep this Thomas brand new. And that's one down. Now the next character, Toby. He's actually, this is my fifth or fourth favorite character in the TV series. Toby, the tram engine. I love Toby, especially with the yellow background here. That's my favorite one, actually. However... It's not my favorite color. My favorite color is surprisingly blue. And the second is green. Third is yellow. Right here. But still, it just looks nice. I still like the yellow background a lot because it's charming to me. The blue is so common. Sun is green. I love those ones a lot too. As much as the yellow, actually. Take that back earlier. The blue, green, and yellow are my favorites. But anyway, back on track. This is Toby here. Has a nice... He is absolutely mint in box. There's a little ripped sticker right there. I tried to get it off, but not all of it came off. But the plastic is still really nice, and the model is absolutely mint. It's from 1989. You can't see it. it. says 1989 on the bottom. But that's not like Leo Kim video said. If you're watching this, Leo, thank you very much. Anyway... So, if you see on the bottom, it does say 1989, but just like Leo, sometimes the truth on when these hurdles were made can be found on the back of the box. And it says 1993. You can't see it, but it does say 1993, not lying. So anyway, shows more models you could get. Historical note, nice description of the character, and the collector card. And all that jazz that you know, like the Thomas logo and the name of the character on the back. You get it by now. But look at this Toby. It's so nice. He's a really nice character. His face looks really nice as well. Just looking at that model. Wow. Mint in box. There we go. Okay. The next one I have is really nice and mint. And this is actually my favorite narrow gauge engine. Duncan. I love Duncan's Ertl model. Now, I don't have him unboxed, but I do have him brand new mint in box. Right here, he is mint in box. I checked the pentance like Leo Kim video. 
always check the plas the seal of the plastic here, and I checked that, and it looks like I can see the patent, and it is mint in box for sure. Duncan is absolutely mint. It's at even not been clipped either, because I always, well, ever since I, that Leo Kim video, if you're watching this Leo, thank you very much, like I said earlier, the second time. Now anyway, his video was to show his fake mint in box Ertle Thomas that was the golden edition, which I would love, I don't have that, but I would love to get that in the future. And my plan is to always check these when on eBay sometimes, looking at the pictures, but when I get them, I would open them or keep them brand new in the box. This Duncan is sealed mint in box, so I'm keeping them in there. From 1996 actually, how do I know? Let's see if this camera can focus. Hmm, let me see. No, oh, I'm sorry, guys. But it does say 1996. I'm noticing the more characters you get when the later models that came out in this packaging, the style packaging, they always get more and more characters, up to 70 characters that you will see down right here. Right now, there's only a total of 45. Historical note. In the description. So that's Duncan here. This character here is every is actually one of my second favorite characters. Yeah, I grew up with Percy. Percy the small engine. In my favorite style of packaging. Mint in box. Now this I got from a good eBay seller, and I actually trust him very much because he is he, I just looked at the picture and it looks so nice. I mean, I looked at the patents, even though it showed the nice picture of the patents even with the model like this. As you see here, that's what the picture looked like, or similar to that. And this is mint in box, hands down, mint. Not kidding. Lovely Percy. And it's actually a nice model too. I just need to get four more of these because I'm collecting a lot of these Little Thomas trains. I want to get 20 of each character. Or more, depending on. Percy, I want to get him five in this packaging, style packaging, and I just need four more left. I already have Percy in box, so I don't need to open this one. Really lovely. It shows the back here. This is from 1993. Just looking at that nice mint in box, Percy. Nice artwork from Owen Bell. The early Thomas the Tank Engine Friends logo. Love it a lot. Now those may like Duck more, but here's some of other fan favorites besides Duck. Ertl Oliver, Mint in Box. Now the pen, this one, I actually, I just ordered two more Olivers on eBay. And I'll show those in another video, maybe. Maybe. Honestly, I just like showing the main model, ah, sorry, main models of the model of the item that I got like for example I have two Tobies I'm just going to show you I have two same Tobies well I did one time but I opened both of them and the Tobies were in the same style packaging now if I made a video at that time I would just show you one because they were in the same packaging at that same time I don't like showing ex extras that much but at the same time um, I actually should, and I'm going to move on now, sorry. Here's the item, here's the back, from 1993. Mint, really nice mint in box too, actually. So I'm going to keep all over mint in box. And here are the twins. Let's start with Bill first. Bill. Again, a 1993 model. And as you can tell, it, you can tell these are from 1993 because of this Thomas the Tank Engine Friends logo. The only ones you want to be careful with, like, if you want them to say 1993, but you didn't get a 1993, but it still has this logo, that's still what worry about Thomas here and Andy and Clarabelle because... Thomas and Annie Clarabelle were reissued in this packaging in 1998 or 1999. I don't remember exactly. Let me know in the comments. 
But anyway, they were released identical to the original 1993, like this Thomas here, and A. Clairo. However, the only difference is says 1999. For example, I saw one in the... You, that's the sign that it came out either separately or in the original 1998 or 1999 version of the starter set. Because those the original starter set did come with Thomas and Anne Claire Bell in the style pack in the style packaging. But the date on the back was different. Instead of 1993, like usual, it would say 1999. So I guess the start, starter set started in 1999. So anyway, back to Bill here. Nothing too much other than nice artwork, nice style packaging, great information, like historical note, and great detail of the character. Shows more models you could get. It was made in 1993. And I, now I actually do like Bill's model as well. I have an unboxed version, in fact. The next one we got is Ben. Again, nothing too different. Same artwork as Bill, just called Ben instead. And surprisingly, the historical note is the same, except it starts with Ben, I'm sorry, Ben, instead of Bill. Because the previous one here has the exact information, except switch the names, like it starts with Bill instead of Ben. And the Ben's packaging starts with, for the character description, it just starts with Ben instead of Bill. And you know what I mean now. Next one we have is Scruffy. Now, Scruffy here, I got this actually at a store, and it's mint in box. I actually got two of them, surprisingly. I'll show you the other one in the next video. Now, this Scruffy, has, there's two versions of Scruffy you can get in this style of packaging. The first version actually had a second troublesome truck, and I found that that was the original version you could get, which was much better. And slightly later in that same year, which is 1998, this model came out, as well as the original with the extra troublesome truck, they had, they just got rid of the troublesome truck and just came with Scruffy by himself, which I have right here. I have two of them. All right. Sometimes it looks like this one's more rare, but I think the one with the extra troublesome truck is more rare. It's kind of strange. I'm not, but I'm going to get the Scruffy with the extra troublesome truck in the future. And yeah, you notice this one's a little bit sun faded, but you know what? It's not bad. As the penance here, I looked at it. It's mint in box. It's. Mint in box. It was it was in Treasure City that I got in Minnesota, and it looks really nice to me still. Even if the front it covers sun faded, and the back is a little dirty. You may not notice it, but it is a little dirty. It's from 1998 as well. And the last model I got is Henry's log card. Now this one is really nice and mint. This one actually was unclipped when I bought it, but I just decided to take the clip out because I wanted to hang it up on my little room on my little wall here, as you can see all those little pins. But you notice there's a Toby there. Now I'm getting rid of that Toby actually. That one was open, but I resealed it. I'm gonna get rid of it to a cousin of mine. Who loves Thomas just like I do. I also love Thomas, but I don't watch the TV show that much. Anyway, back on the subject, here's Henry's log car. This is a really nice color on the background, which of course is green. But I just like how nice it looks. It's just a nice dark green. But anyway, artwork from Owen Bell. This is a 1998, original 1998 model. And style packaging that this model came in first. It's from 1998. All the shows all the other models you could get. Has a historical note. A nice description of Henry's log car. Collector card number 57. So yeah, that is my Mitten Box Turtle Tom's collection that I have so far. Now I'm getting a few more. I'm getting another Toby at in the mail with the, in the Shine Time Station packaging like that one here. However, that one I'm gonna keep. But this one, as you can see right here, I'm gonna get rid of that one. It's not in the greatest condition. And this Toby was resealed too. I did that myself. Because I didn't want two Tobys unboxed. So I'm gonna give that one to my cousin. And anyway, 
I also got two more Olivers, like I said earlier, in, the, in this style packaging still. And then I'm getting a special new engine, which is the City of Truo, the original 1993 version. And I'm excited to get that. I'm going to expect it to come on Friday. And I also got, got another Scruffy here. And then this time it's actually... Well, it's also from my grandma. She gave it. She's going to give it to me in the mail. It's going to be another gift for Christmas. And that's all I have to say for update for the next video. Next time I'll make another update box to Earl Collections. Hope you enjoy this video and have a good day.